Good morning. We're making a family favorite breakfast today. Jonah requested this. Haven't made it in a really long time. It's the sausage and cream cheese with the crescent rolls. It's amazing. Okay y'all, it's a little while later. The kids are doing their lessons now. Nobody needs my help at the moment. So we're gonna come out here and get our little box ready. I just have this little, it's like an old kitchen towel. We're gonna use this to put in the bottom. And then I have some fake leaves. We're just gonna put these in here and kind of stick them through. Make sure we do the tops of the leaves. Let's see, we might have to flip this over. I am no professional at decorating things. We know this. Just doing our best over here we are doing our best this is still like a tiny bit wet in certain spots the paint on this crate um, we painted it yesterday and yeah it's still just a little wet here and there so I'm getting paint on me from time to time yeah we kind of want to make it like these leaves are just naturally you know doing this instead of a strategically placing them <laughs> okay that's that's pretty good Okay, now we have these little pumpkins and I might have to go get one of those bigger pumpkins from the front because, yeah, this is not going to be enough of these little ones. Let me go grab one of those little orange pumpkins real quick. Okay. Okay, so from up here my leaf action looks not great. So let's put this part on the outside for now until we can figure out how we want to put the pumpkins. So for supper tonight, y'all, I'm making a slow cooker spaghetti I don't think I've ever made this stem is really long on this pumpkin anyway I don't think I've ever made a slow cooker spaghetti at least not the way this one is done you don't cook the meat first at all you just sit the ground beef in there add the other stuff cook it for a little while I don't know <laughs> never done it that way before so we're gonna see how this turns out I think we kind of need to turn our pumpkin to the side a little bit here maybe Okay, it's not liking that. It's like, no ma'am. Nope, you don't know what you're doing. We know, we know, pumpkin, calm down. Don't you do hey, I know what? We can take one of the little pumpkins and put up under it and it'll lean because sitting just normal like that, it's not looking right to me. That's not looking right. We'll take one of these little white ones, put it there, look at that. Martha Stewart in the making. <laughs> okay, here's a pretty white one. We'll kind of turn this pumpkin sideways too. Oh, this one's a little mushy. Hmm. They gave me a rotten one. Now we can fix our leaves so they can tuck down in there like that now. It's not quite as full as I wanted it to be. We'll get some of those little tiny orange ones to add in here later. The full view. What do y'all think? I mean, just be honest. <laughs> First of all, let's get this little mom struggle situation under control. Hey, get away. Get away. Get away. I think when we fill it up with more pumpkins, it'll look cute. And I'm going to get one more fall-colored kitchen towel to kind of drape over the side or something. I wanted to leave this one out. It's one of the candy corn pumpkins. That's what they call them. Overhead shot. <laughs> Not magazine worthy, but it's cute. Hey, wait. I know. Now what? 
okay? I mean, that's almost ready for one of those autumn fall jazz videos. Just, can you feel the relaxation happening to you right now? Okay, so I went to the front real quick and got this. I think we'll put it here. Oh yeah, that, that helps fill it up a little bit there. But now you can't see the white pumpkins too good. I got this old kitchen towel. It's got a torn spot right here, but we can cover that up. Look, we're doing something. What? I don't know, but we're doing something. I think I would like the one that's on the bottom to be here better than this one. Should we? Yeah, that's better. cooker spaghetti we're gonna give this a try I have put a spaghetti now in the instant pot we have instant pot spaghetti videos that turns out great and it doesn't take long at all but we're gonna see how this slow cooker one turns out so first I need to spray my slow cooker we just put the ground beef in this is almost two and a half pounds we're gonna chop up this onion and mince two cloves of garlic What's the monkey paddle? <laughs> there are monkeys swim about. Oh, that's how they swim? Yeah. Hmm. They move their arms too. I'm not play. sure I've ever seen a monkey swimming. They look like a jellyfish. So we just put this straight over into the slow cooker with the ground beef. Now the garlic. We're putting in one 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes and a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. One cup of beef broth, a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of pepper. That's it. I am gonna stir this just a little bit on the top here to mix in those seasonings. We don't have to chop the ground beef up or anything yet. Lid's going on. We're cooking on high for four hours. The pumpkin bandit returns. We are down to 44 minutes over here on the slow cooker. Whenever it finishes, we're gonna put the spaghetti in here. I got the half length that said to break the spaghetti noodles into thirds anyway. I got this half length, so we're just gonna go ahead and break those a little bit too. We stir that in. Oh wait, I'm sorry. First we break up the meat. Then we stir in the pasta, the spaghetti noodles. Then we cook it again on high for 30 more minutes. We're gonna put mozzarella cheese on top and then just put the top on and let that melt. And then, it's supposed to be done. My aunt, I think she made slow cooker spaghetti. Like anytime we had a get together, my aunt that had the restaurant, you know, anytime we had family reunions, the family Christmas party, any of that stuff, she always brought spaghetti when we were kids. Like her spaghetti was always there and it was so good. And it was always in a slow cooker. I don't know if she made it in the slow cooker though, or if she just made it and then put it in the slow cooker just so, you know, she could plug it up and keep it on warm at the reunion or whatever. I never asked. I don't know why. I never asked. How do you make that spaghetti, Aunt Carol? Look at this real worm. That's a real worm? Yeah. See, it's on my hand. Where'd you get him? From outside. Oh, he got your hands all dirty, I see. Yeah. He likes me. Yeah, he likes you, huh? What's his name? It's Alphabet Soup. Alphabet Soup. Okay, <laughs> that's a great name.
Titus is still working, so I'm the taste tester tonight. <laughs> this is really good, and it actually does taste very close to my aunt's uh, spaghetti. It really does. It's very close to it. But anyway, the spaghetti noodles done perfectly. The only thing I would do different is I would make more sauce. Like, to me, it doesn't have enough sauce. What we need is more sauce, as Uncle Edward would say. <laughs> It definitely needs more sauce, but other than that, this is really good, and I actually, I think I would like it better without the cheese on top, which is weird because normally, like, if I make a baked spaghetti or something, we really like the cheese on top, but I think I would like this specific recipe, or maybe because it was cooked in the slow cooker, I don't know, I think I would like it without the cheese better. I mean, it's still good with the cheese, so yeah. Slow cooker spaghetti casserole is a winner right along with Instant Pot spaghetti. I'd definitely make it again, but more sauce, more sauce next time. It's about 8.30 and I just got my last horse done today. It's been a long, long day today. He has to have a special glue shoe, so I'm letting that glue dry. I'm gonna put him up and we'll be heading to the house.